Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today, we've got some aluminum welding we're doing. Let me show you exactly what we're doing. So here we have these wonderful tubes with a tube inside of a tube that, as you can tell, this is supposed to be welded to this, and it basically was like so. But the manufacturer that makes these they don't put a good enough weld on them and they get beat around and really put through a lot of abuse. So we're going to fix a couple of these up today. we got a couple of them to do. There's actually a hole here that I've got to drill out until there's some weld filled there. So we're going to drill that out, clean this weld here off, and then we're going to weld them back and yeah, call it done. And some of you may question, why does it only have a small weld on it? Well, the way this thing works, is this is a vacuum tube so they stick all this down into a bunch of plastic pellets this is to keep the bag from sucking up to it and down here this part attaches to their hose which pulls the pellets but they have to have a way to get air to it so that's why all this is open is to allow the air to come down in here and it just helps with the vacuum process but putting a big good enough weld solves the problem and making sure penetrating this down inside there makes a world of difference so all right so the first thing i'm going to do is take the grinder and i'm actually going to completely clean all this weld here off and i'm going to go ahead and clean this edge off real good here then i'll take the drill and we will drill out this said hole here and then it'll just be all the welding. So let's get the prep done and then we'll jump to the welding. Got this thing ground, basically grounded all that off, and I just kind of cleaned up this edge here. All right, so as you can tell, here's the old weld, and this is where it <laughs> did not weld through and penetrate. So all they did here, whoever welded this from the manufacturer, they literally just filled in a hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. doesn't matter what size, but I want a big enough size to be able to get my uh, welding heat down into this part and actually feed my rod from here out to this part so to do that i'm actually going to start with the small one and then i'll open up to the big one let's do that All right, so we now have our hole in there. We're gonna slide this back in. And I'm gonna take a clamp. I'm gonna clamp this up and tack this part here into place. And the same thing down here, I've got a set of long clamps. I'm gonna show you what I'll use on this. All right, so we got everything set up. As you can see, I've got a super long pair of clamps here. I'm able to use my standard four inch ones here. We're now gonna put some tacks here to start with. I'm gonna go ahead and weld this in after I tack that. And we're using the Dynasty. So I wanna get the rod going, get the welder on. Let's get this thing welded up. All right, so for this job, I'm using some 5356 16th thick rod. 
and I've got this set about 110 amps. All right, so I want to show you guys this real quick. So this is the reason why I put a bigger hole and make it sure I get down in there. So as you can see, I'm starting down in the middle there and working my way out. I'm getting into that bottom piece of tube. And that is very critical is that I get down to that tube or else this thing is just going to be a surface weld. That's going to be it for this one. So there we have new weld bead there. Nice and solid. We've got our new hole filled in like we should. Good penetration. Now, I don't claim to be an expert welder, but hey, good enough to get the job done and for it to hold. But uh, this one should be good for now. That's it for this one. I'm going to get this other one welded up. We'll catch you next time.